Hi everybody out in the Rose City Park world. I wanted to make a quick video this morning to get us all off on the right foot with understanding some of the new resources that are available to support what we are all trying to do from our homes to reach our students and also for parents to be able to navigate the PPS Library website more efficiently and find information that is helpful for your students. So I'm gonna get started by going to PPS Library, and that will take us here to the library's main page. And there's a lot of information embedded in here, and so that's why I wanted to make a video to show families and teachers where to find the necessary information that's going to help them out at home because this is a little challenging if you like to navigate on your own without being taught where everything is. So right here, uh, we have different logins and passwords that can be used to access different databases and different reading resources. And if we click on the link right here, all of those passwords are going to be provided for you right over here and also usernames. So we have Destiny, which is our library catalog, World Book Online, Learn 360, National Geographic, Oslis, uh, eBooks in our Destiny catalog, Newzella, which a lot of us are familiar with, Tumble Books, Scholastic, oops, uh, Pebble Go, and then there's a second page that has three more as well. So that's where all of the login information is going to be kept on this Google Doc here. And I'm going to go back over to the library department website and then below the link here to the passwords and usernames are the different resources that we can use uh, in our homes. Some of these are brand new. The Multnomah County Library website is also linked here. This is not a new resource, but I wanna go ahead and click on that. This first one here is our library catalog resource. We're pretty familiar with that one. So I'm gonna go over here to the Multnomah County Library website and just remind students that even though the library is closed, there are places that we can go here to access a lot of great information. When I click on the eBooks and more link, and scroll down. Uh, I also just wanna point out that if families don't have a library card, they can get one online right here. And as you scroll down, you can see that there uh, are some different options here. Some of us uh, maybe have used Canopy in the past, maybe not, but I wanna go ahead and highlight that one really quickly. I've enjoyed some of the different resources I've found on here. It's great for all ages. And there's videos, TV series, movies, story time options, and they have them broken down into different categories. So that is what Canopy looks like. I'm in the kids version, but there's also a version for parents with some great documentaries as well that might be interesting for families to use. And then I also want to scroll down a little bit more and here is where students can access eBooks. Okay, so you can see there are a lot of popular titles that are here. There are also, these are past, some past OBOB titles right here, but there are also new OBOB books that are available through the audiobook option. And so this is what the ebook website looks like. Again, you can see that there are things here for all ages. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. A little bit further down here is tumble books and then also down here are some different research options, but I'm going to highlight the other research choices that we have through our library website. So I'm gonna close out the Multnomah County Library site and go back over here to where we started with our PPS Library site. And I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna start a second one that is 